Hello everyone, welcome to IB's YouTube channel. Um, I'm making this video after a very long time, but this is an important business problem that I want to address today. Um, today, we are going to learn about Power Query and why it is becoming very important for the Excel users to understand what is Power Query or Power Pivots. So let's get started with this problem that we have here today. So this is a very typical table that companies create in the workplaces. For example, over here, this is a data for manufacturing unit where they have different products that they are creating. So for each product, there's an item that has been given over here. Now, when they're creating a product, there are certain attributes to that product. It could be things like what material strength is there. It could be diameter and so on and so forth. So all those attributes are given in this particular column. Now, the challenge that comes for most of the organizations is that this way of keeping the data in Excel and to upload this data into SAP becomes it's not possible to upload this data in SAP. Now, why is not possible? Because the matrix format is what most of the tools do not accept. So what was the challenge? The challenge was that this organization, the employee had to do a lot of things manually. What he had to do was copy the parent item, paste it in the new sheet for SAP, go back, select all the headers, copy them, come back and transpose. And since now we have all the attributes, we can go back and repeat the parent item. Once this is done, then we would go back in the data, pick all the values related to this particular item, copy it, again come back and then paste through transpose right in front of the attribute. So the way it can be uploaded in SAP is not matrix, but it had to be column data that we're giving. So we have the parent item, we have, let's say the attributes, and then we have the values against it. What I've done right now is only for one product. Now this organization has about 2,420 products. So imagine if someone has to do this activity for 2,419 times more. Doable? Yes. But time taking? A lot. Right? So what is the best way out? We could write a code also. But again, when you write a VBA code, it takes time. So it would take you half an hour or one hour to create a code. Better than that is if we can restructure our data in Power Query. So what are the steps? Number one, I can only upload this data into Power Query if it is in a table format. So all I'm going to do first is format as table. Once this is done, I'm going to go ahead and go to data, go to get data, and tables sit under from other sources. This is a table, so I'll select it. As soon as I do that, another window, which is a Power Query window, will open up in the view. Now, once we have all the data over here, we are going to apply something called unpivoting. Unpivoting, a lot of time people confuse with the concept of transpose. It is not transpose because transpose is just converting the column into a row and row into column. But over here, what we are going to do is select all the columns and convert into one single column. So how do we do that? I'm going to select one, the first column, press the shift key on my keyboard, go all the way down, select the left, left the last column in this table. Go to transform and under transform, you will find unpivot columns. So as soon as I click on unpivot columns, it has converted my entire data within seconds into the way I want it. 
I have got the parent items over here. So it's not just one parent item, all the parent item, one below the other. It's got its attribute and the values over here. And now I can simply go to home and do close and load. And I get this transform data into my Excel sheet. Now I can upload it in the software that I'm using. So rather than spending even half an hour, 45 minutes in VBA code, this is few seconds that I require to change the structure of the data. So I hope you enjoy this tip on Power Query. And uh, right now, the demand in the industry is that anybody who's an Excel user should have the understanding of Power Query and Power Pivot for faster working, automation of some of the mundane reports that we have to create. Because in Power Query, there is a concept called applied steps and through which you can automate a lot of processes in Excel. So stay tuned. If you have not already subscribed, please subscribe to this channel and I will be making more videos on Power Query. Take care. Thank you. Thank you.